Welcome, beautiful. I am Nia, and this is the Nia Show. And we have prepared just a little bit of material for you to see what this show is going to be about. It's full of excitement, empowering, and energy, so don't miss it. <laughs> We are here with our international panelists. I'm going to introduce everyone. And we have Karsten Parker with us, who is an amazing person that was school system, and he's just like a genius. <laughs> and he's going to give us his perspective. We have Florina with us, uh, who is such a special person as well, and soul in the world that is working for healing and uh, uh, humanity and to a level of consciousness in the people. We are going to have her opinion as well. We have Hong with us, who is an expert in political science and he has a very strong opinion about what's happening with the government. And we have a very special guest with us, my special friend, Maurice, who is going to talk a little bit about the finances and what's going on with these advertisers, I guess. So guys, what do you think? I think in a way, both the families and the advertisers are responsible. Because first of all, as individuals, we're all responsible for our own bodies. In a way, I think both families and advertisers are responsible for um, the uh, pandemic of overweightness. Yeah, it's it's emotional. It could be also mental. It could be from peak level or psychological or spiritual. There are six levels of influence in, in our choices. We think it's only physical that I'm hungry. Actually, there are many levels. Um, and this is information and knowledge which comes from many healing traditions. Welcome back. We have a very special guest with us tonight. He is a movie star. He co-starred with Tom Cruise in The Last Samurai, and he also is a Disney Channel star in Wendy Wu, Homecoming Warrior, Disney Channel Games, and so many other movies. Let's welcome movie star and martial arts national champion, Shin Koyamada. Shin, it's a pleasure to have you here. Thank you for coming. Thank you. Tell us a little bit about your passion, your dream. Uh, being an actor in Hollywood and uh always my dream since I was a kid. So I came to the United States in 2000 when I was just 18. And uh, it's been my dream. You left everything? By, yeah, I just left everything, mm -hmm. came to the United States against my parents' will. And I just had this passion to become an actor and become a successful movie star one day. How did you pick Hollywood and you Well, Hollywood is a place to be, you know, for the movies. You, you, Japan is a great place to, you know, to pursue your career, but Hollywood is a place to be a movie star. Like you name all the A-list movie actors, you know, they're world famous actors. Welcome to the Crown Plaza at Commerce Casino, where business and leisure travelers will appreciate our dedication to elegance. Mr. Joe Sarahi, the general manager, why do you recommend this beautiful hotel to the tourists? We're centrally located to all the major Southern California attractions. We're right in the middle of Universal Studios Hollywood and Disneyland and Knott's Berry Farm. And now we are in an important segment of finances and money. How to manage your money and how to multiply your money and also how to buy your first home. We have a very special guest, Marisa Solis, who is a native from Mexico. She lives here in the United States, but she's an amazing business. She owns real estate businesses, investment and also Lo loans. <laughs> so Marisa, welcome to the show. Thank, Thank you for you. being here. Thank you so much. Tell us a little bit about the system that you have for money. Well, if you feel that you don't have enough money or money is difficult for you, there is a very simple system that you can put to use today. For every dollar that you make, you're going to split your money this way. Let's assume between you and your spouse or your partner make $3,000. He is a young, talented, and bright industrial designer. And we are going to find out where his inspiration comes from. It's Nolan Neal. Nolan, so good to have you here in the show. Thank you. Where is your inspiration for this beautiful furniture that you have? Uh, a lot of the inspiration derives from, you know, 
I, I, I'm a big fan of modern, uh, the postmodern era. And, uh, you know, I'm also fascinated with kind of like graphics, which is actually much, uh, more of the path that I had traveled. And I always thought it was interesting to kind of bring graphic elements into, you know, a three-dimensional form. So a lot of these pieces, if you can tell, there's some form of 2D represented in a, you know, 3D stuff. And that's where you get kind of these graphic elements, like the dark, heavy contrast, uh, the angularity, and so forth. Stop. 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 Stop.